how to connect Zapier to WhatsApp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how easy it is to connect Zapier which is a automation tool or automation platform to your WhatsApp account. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to connect your WhatsApp to your phone number. Here we have web.whatsapp.com. Here this is the official platform of WhatsApp. So you are going either to go ahead and enter your phone number right here. Then you are going to link it with your phone. Uh, or you can go ahead and link with the QR code and scan it with your phone also. You can add the device and here we have it. Once you have set the WhatsApp, you are going to head to Zapier then it is very easy to sign up to your account or if you have an account already just log in now when you have set everything you will be seeing here the dashboard right here i have been uh, connected to my account so i'm going to select my uh, account right there go ahead and set it and continue i have used Google because the uh, connection or the sign in or sign up process is very easy and it will not take so much time. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video such as email addresses and accounts are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. After you have set the account on Zapier, you are going to create a Zap. Simply go ahead and click on create and then choose Zap which is automated workflow. Now, after you have set the zap, we are going to use the AI to uh, make something. Right here, we have the manual method. So, what can I help you to automate? Here, you are going to set or tell Copilot to connect Zapier to the WhatsApp. Or, you can go ahead and do it manually. For example, here we have the trigger and we have the action. Right now, I am going to let you see the automation, how it will be. So, I am going to simply, I want, like that, to connect, right here, uh, Zapier to WhatsApp. WhatsApp, like that. And we are going to launch or send that message. Copilot will go ahead and create a response. Currently, Zapier doesn't have direct integration with WhatsApp, so we are going to set something else. So, when you have finished everything right here and saw that it is not possible to connect Zapier, here we are going to play with the words. So, we are going to get some triggers and some customized options. Right here, we are going to click on triggers. When you search for WhatsApp, there is no trigger set as you can see whatsapp notification no trigger available so we are going to set zapier and here the zapier will let you see everything set for example email by zapier webhooks by zapier schedule rss code email parser and here we have a lot an infinite number of zapier uh, for example right here zapier um, uh, codes or notification also triggers choose whatever suits you well with this uh, Zapier integration Here we have to choose one of them for example email by Zapier I'm going to set the trigger which is the email by Zapier Now we have it the event. I am going to choose one of these two events We have a new inbound email or new read received so Choose, for example, new inbound email, and here we have the duration. It is set for 15 minutes. This zap will check for new data at this interval of 15 minutes. Now, we're going to set the trigger. Let's go ahead and do or make a email address. So, we are going to set, for example, this email address or set the, uh, the, uh, the custom one. I'm going to delete all of this here we are going to set for example I'm going to put Jack Smith Jack Smith for example like that and here we have the trigger set now we can go ahead and click on test 
then we are going to test or let the platform test that trigger simply wait for a few seconds until the box will be checked now the test is set and we have here some information now let's go to the next step which is the action you can go ahead before adding an action you can add another step for example you can add another zap right here choose whatever you want here we have the inbound email and you can choose more i'm going to set the action number one to whatsapp we are going to search for WhatsApp and here we have the only option right there is WhatsApp notification. Go ahead and set WhatsApp. Here we have the app and event. We have the WhatsApp notification, the event, send the message, obviously. The account right here, we are going to sign in your WhatsApp account. And for that, you're going to set the right number like that get this example for example i'm going to set this one this is just a fake number and here we have it then you are going to send the pin code and after that you are going to uh, put the pin code right there and yes continue to whatsapp notification right here after you have set the account you are going to set the action. I have put my uh, number right here and as you can see the account is checked. So we are going to head to the action. We have here multiple template and this is required to set everything. For the template we have the option to search some template or choose whatever you want. For example we have new lead, a new message, payment confirmation, new order, shipping information, and etc i'm going to set it for a new message right there you can put the name or preview this template right there go ahead and see this is a new message from the name reply now at the link to reply i'm going to put a name for example we have here you can go ahead and choose the name within the inbound email so we are going to set it from like that go ahead and set from this is the name and for the link to reply choose whatever you want for example i'm going to set the uh, same address go ahead and use these addresses when you finish click on continue now we are going to set the test we're going to choose the test and wait for it and here we have the test set when you finish everything click on continue and then it will demand from you to set the other action that you have if you don't want to add another option or another um, another action click on delete really delete yes and here we have the zap when you finish everything from here click on publish but if you want to add another step it is easy go ahead and click on the plus sign right here or right there i'm going to delete that because there's a lot of uh, not desired zaps or not desired actions. I'm going to add a new step and here choose wherever you want. You can filter by apps, zap your products or built in tools. For example, for the apps, you can set a mail by MailChimp, a Google Drive file, a also a booking calendar from a Google Calendar or an article from Notion and etc. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.